Hi, this video is about using Lightwave and XNormal. XNormal is a nice freeware application where one can make uh, detail maps from high to low definition images. Also comes with some nice tools to convert some maps into other map types and some useful Photoshop plugins. In this case, I'm just going to use it for a situation where I would have a two-step type sculpt where I first would work up my volumes, my general volumes, and then on the surface of those volumes I would add a detail, so fine detail. So the idea would be then to have a retopo of my sculpt uh, and bake the volumes into a displacement and the fine details into a normal map. So this is my pseudo sculpt, it's really a really bad one, but it's good for the demo purposes. And here in Modeler, I got my pseudo top mesh, which is basically uh, some flat polygons with subdivision and a UV texture applied with sub patch interpolation. I also got my high model, which is the source of my displacement data. Uh, basically, the same scene of sculpt on sculptures, but without the um, surface details. And I need to prepare this uh, to get the displacement. Displacement is basically an offset of the vertices on their normals, up or down. And, well, in this case, this object is very simple, but here one can see that very simple objects with different angles, this is what uh, happens with displacement. Uh, one thing to notice is that this, since this, this is um, a subdivision object and subdivision deforms uh, the mesh, uh, one needs to take into account at baking time all the deformations that take place at uh, mapping time. So I need to freeze this uh, mesh. I'm using level 8 subdivisions and I'm going to save it as low model underscore bake. I'm also going to use a uh, X-normal feature called the cage. Called it. It's basically uh, a duplicate of the low poly mesh which is offset on the vertex normals just like the displacement until it covers the whole uh, high definition mesh. Okay. So this object is very simple, so it's basically like moving uh, all my polygons up. And But here I'm using, uh, actually I'm using move plus right mouse button. And now it covers all the high definition mesh. Just going to copy it here and save it as cage. So a cage is very important, just as an example. And I have this object and I want this to be baked here. Uh, if I have a global ray distance, what will happen is that this polygon here, um, it's a very low ray distance to catch the detail that it's assigned to it, while this one needs uh, a greater distance. So what will happen is, if I apply the distance globally that this polygon needs, this one, it's going to start to pick the detail on the bottom and not just its own. So that's a problem. And if I copy the, the, the low poly cage, the low poly mesh, and uh, offset it on its normals until it covers just the detail I want, then I can constrain not only the angle of the baking rays, but also the length. And this fixes a lot of. Uh, problems in baking, like like for example uh, under the armpits and so on. Uh, well, everything is done. I mean, I all I got all I need here in uh, Lightwave. Let's go to X normal. When it comes to high definition meshes, uh, notice I always have some uh, default mesh scale setup in there. Uh, in this case, I have 16 for both, for high and low. Uh, this because XNormal always tells me uh, most of the times that uh, my mesh's scale is not uh, good enough 
to get any good baking out of them. So right mouse button, add meshes, high model, and on the low definition tab, right mouse button, add meshes, low model bake. Now select the object, slide, and on use cage, confirm, right mouse button, browse external cage file, and select the cage object. Now it warns me that the cage object and the low definition object must have the same topology or I'll have issues. They have, so I'm okay. I'm exporting a TIFF file for the 16 bits depth, which is very important for a displacement. And I have these two options set uh, using 8 pixels of border and 2 times anti aliasing. Now I have to, I gotta have to the height map checked, and here I have interactive normalization selected. All set, just click generate maps, and X normal shows me um, a preview of the raw height data that needs to be normalized and for that X normal brings up a tone mapper so I can choose how to interpret this raw data so here I choose fit to window and turn on the debug min max clamping it shows me where uh, if there's information being cut off Usually if there's no bad intersections, I just set the sliders to the extremes and the clamping goes away. Uh, now notice this, um, this these flat areas that are 50%, that should be 50% gray are not. Uh, that's because uh, the mean point and the max point have different absolute values. So I'm going to copy the highest one, which is 7. and paste it onto the other value respecting the, the symmetry uh, and now this uh, gray is 50 percent this number is very important and I need to uh, save it for later use in layouts so I'm just gonna copy and paste here to the notepad I'm gonna close this and the tone mapping will be applied and my map saved so I can close this and go into layout. So I need to load my Brutopo mesh and set the subdivision level to 8, which is the one I used to, to bake. I could go higher, but it's good to respect the baseline. And subdivision order set to after motion. And on the form tab, uh, activate the nodes and set the order to before world displacement. Now on the node, node editor, we'll call the spot info and plug. If I just plug the normal into the displacement, you'll see that it displaces one meter on the, the positive direction. So if I want to scale this, I come to map vector scale. And since this is a percentage uh, input, I'll just put um, a multiply node here. And now it's basically a dial in. So if I want 2 meters, I put 2 meters and it goes up 2 meters. Or if I want minus 3 meters, I, I put it and it goes minus 3. So this is the maximum offset. The image map will just basically tell that some vertices will not go to the maximum offset. So if the maximum offset is minus 3, uh, or well, in this case, maximum offset is 3, um, the, the, the white, uh, white pixels will make the vertices go to 3, and the 50% gray pixels will make the, the vertexes go nowhere and the black pixels will make the vertices go minus 3. So let me load my image. Here it is. Texture set to UV. And well, I have an issue is that uh, Lightwave um, makes the displacement from minus 1 to 1 but my image is from 0 to 1 
So for that I use the curve node here on gradient to remap uh, my image values. So put the color here, bring up the curve node and just add a new key with the value of 1 and position of 1. Select both keys and set them to linear and this is uh, how my image is now from 0 to 1 but I want it to go from minus 1 to 1 so black pixels will displace the mesh on minus 1 50% gray pixels will have no effect and 1 uh, white pixels will displace the mesh on 1 meter so now all set I got my displacement taking place with the maximum offset of 3 this is not this does not correspond to my uh, my object so let me load here so this is my object and this is how the displacement is affecting this so I need to know what's the maximum offset and that's why I kept that number from later this is my uh, maximum offset but remember this number is uh, relative to x normal scale so it's that number divided by 16 times so what I need is come to scalar divide plug it here set the set number and 16 okay so now I got um, my mesh falling just right into place where it should be and let me just make a render scene editor so this is my high model the volume uh, data this is the low poly with displacement so virtually the same uh, now I got my displacement applied I want to get my normal map for that I'm gonna save uh, the low poly with displacement and I'm gonna save a trans object with different name let me say low model plus displacement and I go back to X normal to bake the normal map but first I need to come here to sculpt trees and export a high detail object so I have all this information and then on X normal I can delete the previous breaking meshes so come to high add high details and come to low and add the low plus displacement on baking options I swap height map for normal map and I'll just leave the default settings with tangent space on and now I can generate my normal map Apparently I inadvertently used the sculptor's brush really big sized on this part but usually this was the kind of detail I was after <coughs> and my map is done can go back to layout and now I can set up my surface to get the normal map with all the details so let me just uh, rotate the model because I modeled it on the other side okay so this is how it looks with 
those fine details uh, apply to it. So yeah, this is basic. Uh, this is the basic idea. Get the, the volumes with displacement. Get the fine details with a normal map. Uh, for example, if one would want to bake an ambient occlusion or a curvature map, then the bake would be from uh, the highest detail on sculptures to the, the lowest detail coming from uh, the Rutopo mesh. And well, I hope this uh, makes you excited about X normal and you can use it. See you next time. Cheers.